Have you ever seen text that just feels wrong? Words that are clumsy, boring, or just plain hard to read. It's a design crime we see every single day. And then, there's this text that has emotion. Words that have power. Typography that doesn't just convey a message, but becomes the art itself. The difference isn't magic, it's a skill. And it's a superpower that separates amateur designs from unforgettable ones. So far in our series, we've built worlds and painted with light. Today, we're going to master the art of the written word. We're not just going to type. We're going to design, sculpt, and breathe life into our text. We're going to build a stunning poster for a fictional arts festival. And by the end of this video, you will hold the keys to incredible typography. Let's begin. Part 1. The foundation fonts, spacing, and the character panel. Our stage is set. Let's start with the basics. Select the horizontal type tool from the toolbar, or just press T on your keyboard. Click on your canvas and type out the name of our festival. Creative Fusion. It's fine. But fine is not what we're here for. To unlock our text potential, we need the character panel. Go to the top menu, window, and select character. This panel is your mission control for everything typography. First up, font pairing. A pro secret is to create contrast. The two main families are serif fonts, the ones with the little feet, which feel classic and elegant, and sans serif fonts, which have no feet and feel modern and clean. A bulletproof strategy is to pair one of each. For our headline, Creative Fusion, let's use a bold, impactful sans serif font. I'll choose Montserrat in its black weight to make a strong statement. Now, let's add a subtitle. On a new text layer, let's type an art and design festival. For this, we'll use a clean, readable serif font. Like Lora, the contrast between the two fonts instantly creates a visual hierarchy and looks professional. Now for the pro level spacing. In your character panel, you have three critical controls. Leading is your line spacing. If your text feels cramped, Increase the leading to give it room to breathe. Tracking is the overall spacing for a group of letters. Let's select our headline, Creative Fusion, and increase the tracking slightly. See how it gives the word an airy, premium, and more deliberate feel. And the master level trick, kerning. This is the space between two individual letters. Look at the NV in Creative. The default spacing can look a bit wide. By placing your cursor between those two letters and adjusting the kerning value, you can tuck them in perfectly. This fine-tuning is what makes typography truly beautiful. Part 2. Breaking the mold works, paths, and clipping masks. Straight lines are safe, but great design is often about breaking the rules. Let's add some energy. Select your headline layer. Up in the options bar, you'll find an icon of a T with an arc over it. This is warp text. This tool lets you bend your text into a variety of preset shapes like arc, flag, or wave. Let's apply a gentle arc to our headline. Just a little bit of a curve can add a huge amount of dynamic energy to your design. But what if you need a truly custom shape? For that, we can make text follow a path. Let's use our pen tool from the last episode to draw a gentle, swooping curve across our poster. Now, grab the type tool again. Hover your cursor directly over the path until the icon changes to a wavy line. Click and start typing. Let's add the event details. July 31st, 2025, Los Angeles, America. The text will magically conform to the exact shape of your custom path. And now, for my favorite typography trick of all time, filling text with an image using a clipping mask. Fast, type a big, bold word. Let's go with art. Choose a thick font so we have plenty of area to work with. Next, find a cool image or texture. I have a picture of vibrant paint splatters. Place this image on the layer directly above your art text layer. Ready for the magic? Right-click on your image layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Boom! Just like that, your text becomes a window to another image. This is an incredibly powerful technique for creating eye-catching, memorable designs. Part 3. Adding depth and polish with layer styles. Our design has great structure, but the elements feel a bit flat. We need to make them pop. This is where layer styles come in. At the bottom of your layers panel, click the small effects icon. This menu is a playground for adding depth and polish. Let's select our main Creative Fusion headline layer and add a drop shadow. Pro tip, the secret to a good drop shadow is subtlety. Don't use a hard black shadow right behind the text. Instead, lower the opacity, increase the distance slightly, and soften it by increasing the size. This creates a gentle sense of depth that lifts the text of the page. Another useful style is stroke, which adds an outline or gradient overlay. 
which can create a beautiful color fade across your letters. For our art text with the clipping mask, let's add a very faint outer blow using a color from the paint splatters. This helps integrate it into the background. By combining these simple layer styles, you can take your flat text and give it a tangible presence in your design. Look at where we started and look at what we've created. We have transformed simple, plain text into a piece of art. That's the power you now have. So let's recap your new typography checklist. 1. Choose your fonts with purpose using font pairing. 2. Control your design with professional spacing leading, tracking, and kerning. 3. Add energy by warping your text or placing it on a path. 4. Create stunning visuals by filling text with a clipping mask. And 5. Add depth and polish with subtle layer styles. And for sticking around, here's a bonus tip. Need great fonts? Google Fonts is an incredible free resource. You can download thousands of high-quality fonts and use them in Photoshop to expand your creative library beyond the defaults. You have come so far. We've built scenes, added artistic flair, and now we have commanded the power of professional typography. So what's next? In the next episode, we finally tackle the ultimate professional workflow I have been promising. Smart objects, adjustment layers, and layer masks. This is the holy trinity of non-destructive editing that will fundamentally change how you approach every single project in Photoshop. It's the episode that TIs everything together. If you are ready to unlock that final level of Photoshop mastery, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And if this video gave you a new design superpower, show your support with a like. Leave a comment below and tell me your favorite font. Thank you for watching. Now go make your words beautiful.